Hi everyone, good morning. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video. Um, I'm about, I'm getting ready to do my morning prayer, which is from the Liturgy of the Hours, and I thought it would be nice to maybe just videotape it, so everyone could, if you're not already doing it, you can see how it flows, how, it, how it's uh, done. Um, so as Catholics, we're expected to do morning prayer and evening prayer um, every day, if you can. Um, especially if you belong to like a third order group, like the Carmelites, then you have to do it every morning and every evening. It doesn't take long, and um, they're actually, it's actually a very beautiful uh, way to start your day and end your evening. So uh, it begins with an invitatory, and it goes like this. Uh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Then uh, we do an invitatory psalm, unless you've already been to Mass. If you've been to Mass, you can skip the invitatory psalm. Um, but we'll do it today because it's early. I haven't been to Mass yet. Um, so it begins with an antiphon. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. And then the psalm begins. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. The antiphon is repeated. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Go within the gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Then we proceed on to the hymn. There's always a hymn. I'm not going to sing, because my voice is not that great, especially in the morning. So I'll just read the hymn, which is, which is fine as well. Now Christ, O Son of Righteousness, let dawn our darkened spirits bless, the light of grace to us restore, while day to earth returns once more. To us you give the accepted time, give too a heart that mourns for crime. Let those by mercy now be cured, whom loving kindness long endured. Spare not, we pray, to send us here, some penance kindly but severe. So let your gift of pardoning grace, our grievous sinfulness, efface. Soon will that day your day appear, and all things with its brightness cheer. We will rejoice in it as we return thereby to grace and thee. Let all the world from shore to shore, O gracious Trinity, adore. Right soon your loving pardon grant, that we our new-made song may chant. Amen. Then we go to a psalmody. starts also with a, an antiphon. At daybreak be merciful to me, O Lord. Lord, listen to my prayer, turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful, you are just, give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment, for no one just is in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul, he has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness like the dead long forgotten. Therefore, my spirit fails, my heart is numb within me. I remember the days that are past. I ponder all your works. I muse on what your hand has wrought. And to you I stretch out my hands, like a parched land my soul thirsts for you. Lord, make haste and answer, for my spirit fails within me. Do not hide your face, lest I become like those in the grave. In the morning let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me known the way I should walk. To you I lift up my soul. 
Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you, O Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Then at the end of the psalm, Adi, we do a psalm prayer. Lord Jesus, early in the morning of your resurrection, you made your love known and brought the first light of dawn to those who dwelt in darkness. Your death has opened a path for us. Do not enter into judgment with your servants. Let your Holy Spirit guide us together into the land of justice. And then the antiphon is repeated. At daybreak, be merciful to me, O Lord. And we go on to the second psalm, and there is a second antiphon. So the antiphon is different for every psalm. Lord, the Lord will make a river of peace flow, flow through Jerusalem. And the psalm comes from the canticle of Isaiah, Isaiah 66, verses 10 to 14a. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad because of her, all you who love her. Exalt, exalt with her all you who were mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck fully of the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breasts. For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spend prosperity over her like a river. I, sorry, I will spread prosperity over her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings you shall be carried in her arms and fondled in her lap, as a mother comforts her son, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bodies flourish like the grass. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The antiphon is repeated. The Lord will make a river of peace flow through Jerusalem. And we come to the third psalm and the third antiphon. Let us joyfully praise the Lord our God. And its psalm is 147, verses 1 to 11. Praise the Lord, for he is good. Sign to our Lord, for he is loving. Sorry, sing to our Lord, for he is loving. To him our praise is due. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He fixes the, num of the number of the stars, and he calls each one by its name. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked to the dust. O oh, sing to the Lord, give thanks. Sing psalms to our God with the harp. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares the rain for the earth. Marking mountains, sprout with, marking mountains sprout with grass and with plants to serve man's needs. He provides the beasts with their food and young ravens that call upon him. His delight is not in horses, nor his pleasure in warrior strength. The Lord delights in those who revere him, in those who wait for his love. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The psalm prayer, God our Father, great builder of the heavenly Jerusalem, you know the number of the stars and call each of them by name. Heal hearts that are broken, gather together those who have been scattered, and enrich us all from the plentitude of your eternal wisdom. The antiphon, let us joyfully praise the Lord our God. Then after the three psalms, we, uh, we pray a reading. This is from uh, the first book of Kings, chapter 8, verses 51 to 53a. We are your people and your inheritance, O Lord. May your eyes be open to the petition of your servant and to the petition of your people Israel. Hear us whenever we call upon you, because you have set us apart among all the peoples of the earth for your inheritance. Then we have a responsory, and this is similar to intercessory prayers in the Mass.
God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. From those who would trap me with lying words and from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. Then we go on to the Gospel Canticle. This begins with an antiphon. If anyone wishes to be my disciple, he must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, says the Lord. And then this is followed by the Canticle of Zechariah, which is taken from Luke chapter 1, verses 68 to, 16, uh, 68 to 79. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty voice, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And the antiphon is repeated. If anyone wishes to be my disciple, he must defend, deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, says the Lord. Then we, we pray our intercessions. God has revealed himself in Christ. Let us praise his goodness and ask him for our hearts. Re and then uh, everyone repeats together. Remember us, Lord, for we are your children. Teach us to enter more deeply into the mystery of the church, that it may be more effective for ourselves and for the world as the sacrament of salvation. We repeat, re remember us, Lord, for we are your children. Lover of mankind, inspire us to work for human progress. Seek to spread your kingdom in all we do. The response is, remember us, Lord, for we are your children. May our hearts thirst for Christ, the fountain of living water. Respond with, remember us, Lord, for we are your children. Forgive our sins and direct our steps into the ways of justice and sincerity. Respond, remember us, Lord, for we are your children. And then we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Then we have a concluding prayer. Lord, may everything we do begin with your inspiration, continue with your help, and reach perfection under your guidance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And then, if you're saying this with the priest, the priest will, uh, or deacon, will um, close with a dismissal. If you're saying it alone or with a, a lay group, uh, you, the leader will close. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So this, uh, I'm reading it off the internet, off of a website uh, called ibreverie.com. And you can just um, navigate your way through there to get to the morning prayer for the correct day. So you look up today's date. Today is the 15th of February, 2018. And uh, you can also select your language, so it is available in many different languages. Um, if you prefer, if you don't have access to a computer or the internet, you can also, um, this is the Christian prayer book. And it has a liturgy of the hours for the entire, uh, for the entire year, the entire liturgical year. And there's hymns in the back. And uh, 
it's basically the same. It comes with a small uh, guide that helps you select which pages to pray for that particular day of the liturgical season. Anyway, um, that's it for this morning. If I have time, uh, I'll post um, an evening prayer as well, just so you can see what the evening prayer and the morning prayer are like. For those of you who have more time, um, you can do the day prayer, the, the evening prayer, the night prayer. You can actually do, there are actually six times of day where you can pray the Liturgy of the Hours. But as Catholics, again, we're only expected to pray the morning prayer and the evening prayer. So um, thanks for watching. If you like me, um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to hear more, please subscribe. Okay, thanks a lot. Have a great day. God bless.